Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man Memory Country X Part 12, and today we're taking on Sigma's Palace Part 3. The final Sigma Palace stage. Well, the second to last, I guess. Yeah. Sigma's his own stage. But yeah, this is the part where we finally end all plot points. So, whatever happened to Zero, you'll find out today. Whatever happened to Vile, you'll find out today. Whatever happened to X, you'll find out never. This is never gonna get Mega Man X9. I mean, Mega X9 was never made. It was just, oh hey, well, we're gonna go down to back to, back to Earth, and that's the end of the game. That's about it. Yep, the end. Well, that's a different story, I guess. So we're fighting Chill Penguin now again. The fucking first boss we ever took on in the game. And obviously he's weak to Flame Man's thing. Yeah. Who would not know this? Fibroids. Swear to freaking god, this is like the easiest boss ever. We don't take this like a bitch. Like seriously, fi uh, like freaking fire away does a shit ton of damage. Not a shit ton, but just enough. Yeah. He then he'll do a move where he slides it like up to you, I guess. Which is pretty much Well, in the last time we fought him, all you had was a Mega Buster, so I think the Mega Buster was faster. He's an invincibility for a short time, which pisses me off. And he has something to say when he dies, too. It's really retarded. Fuck? At least he had something to say when he was alive. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go to the next room. Well, all I really say when they die, like, no! Or something like that. Yeah. Well, Spark Commander was like, it was a good fight. No. This is what it feels like. And then, Armored and Manila was like, it was a good battle. At least they were strong lines, I guess. Yeah. Oh, here comes the next one. It's, uh... Sting Chameleon. It's faggot. Oh, Sting Chameleon again, you artist. No, that, that was octopus guy. Oh. Octopus, not octopus. The gay guy. I swear to fucking Christ. No one cares. He, uh, again, the same strategy goes. Just throw the boomerang up, back and forth. This guy is gonna be annihilated. For us. Oh, yeah, there's... I have to use this. The first sub tank. Go. Well, full, almost full sub tank, actually. It was full. It's just that it fills, fills us up really faster than usual. Oh, my God. I hate how it does that. Well, apparently, Sigma in this game is a lot easier than any other Sigma that we've ever fought, so. Because we're playing this on normal difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Screw hard. No try hard status. Bullshit again. I don't think there's anything, any, anything secret if you played it on hard or anything it's like that. It's just a bit harder, it's just a challenge. But everything's the same, I guess. There it goes, Flame Mammoth. I really don't know who, what this guy's weakness is. I think it's the tornado thing. But I'm using the boomerang cutter because you can cut off his trunk, which is hilarious. But I have no idea what the fuck it does now. It just stops him from breathing fire, right? I would assume. There you go, we cut off his thing. He gets pissed up. My trunk, oh man. My soulless body has feelings for the trunk. The trunk he never had. See, I thought Shotgun Ice was gonna do something. Like, what the hell? You would assume Shotgun Ice did something, but no, it's. it's oh, fun. fire melts ice. Wow. That was the way around. So ice melts fire? Yeah, no, ice fr freezes fire. Fucking no. Pokemon? Pokemon lied to me. I clearly remembered ice beating fire. No, it's, it's, it's... When you attack an ice Pokemon with a fire Pokemon, I mean, the other way around, it's, it's resistant to it. Fire types are resistant to ice. Uh, it must, must be water then. So we're coming up to something story related soon. So, oh man, do we have finally. to fight the Black Zero? No. Shh. It never happens here. It never happens in X1. 
We get a shit ton of like fucking items here, so if you want to level grind, just come back here. Level grind? Did you mean item grind? There's a leveling up in this game. Okay, here comes the cutscene. We can see zero. <gasps> zero. Oh god. <laughs> You're no different than zero. You worried about Sigma when you should have been worried about me. Vile, you. Hmm. I guess my destroying you here is all part of Sigma's plan. I don't usually like following other people's plans. Oh. Bro, you're gonna do it the kamikaze. Holy Zero. shit. You're harder to destroy than I thought. X, there's nothing more you can do. It's over. And Zero killed himself. Good job, Zero. Zero. Zero! I love X's face. He's just like, <gasps> what? So okay, we're fighting Vile for the second and the final time. The storm tornado will not do shit to him, so you have to switch to um, Stink Chameleon's weapon. Trust me, it took me a while to figure this out. Literally, I was like, fuck, why is it doing anything? And then Stink Chameleon does a shit ton. Of it. But he will spam a lot of those weapons at you. Those are the weapons you'll eventually be able to use. Not all. These are the shittier ones. Which apparently are fucking strong as hell. Against you, and then... <laughs> you, you'll figure it out. You can play when I play Vile's part of the story. Oh no, sorry. Homing Torpedo does shit. It's it's the torpedo only... totally makes sense. And there goes Zero. Zero! Hang Sad in there, music. buddy! X, I'm always telling you to be more careful. But now look at me. Don't waste your energy talking, Zero. We gotta fix you up. There's no time for that. Sigma is close. Very close. Zero. Go now. Maverick Hunter X. Ho! Oh, the title of the game. Wow, so cliche. Zero. Oh, at least he died in vain or something. He never so even, he, he never even he, says that in the original. If you go back, he's not there anymore. I was like, what the fuck? How the hell did they pick them up so fast? <laughs> it's just supposed to be canon to like X2. Then what the hell was Sigma picking him up? Well, anyway, here's the next boss. It's some Rex something, I think I forgot his name. It's a giant head. Just shooting the giant, head. Yeah, a full giant baby. He shoots electric shit at you. The baby head is Metroid, man. Wrong game. Okay, my bad. Wrong game. This guy is pretty much... I don't know. This is, the only attack you should be worried about is the electricity he shoots at you. I'm figuring out what the fuck weapon it is, but it's boomerang cutter. So, I think... Did they change the weaknesses to this boss? I don't know, everything was weak to with the hyper tornado. This is what the fuck is Like, no, it's time to use an earth tank. Oh shit, I'm dying again. So, if he does disappear, then where, why, why doesn't Sigma, how does Sigma not pick him up then, I guess? Maybe he, maybe he just like, picks up his, uses his like an arm or something real quick and picks it up. Just like turn away like for two seconds. How the hell does that happen? Well, if you didn't know, you, you should f play X2 to find out what happens to Zero. Yes, no, that's more than that. That's that's on a different channel. Cough, cough, <laughs> cough, cough, laugh, laugh. Okay. Inside joke. So anyway, yeah, Boomerang Cutter does a shit ton of damage. Wait, are you starting X3 one. soon yet? No, not as. as Alright, well we're gonna be trying to finish that soon. And he's dead! Yeah, and that's the end of part 12. We finally took on Sigma's so Palace part 3. See guys, next time when we finally take on the master of all the Mavericks, Sigma. Yes, Sigma on part 13. See you guys next week.